What does it mean for a company like NVIDIA or AMD that are making these AI accelerators? What does high NA mean for them and the kind of AI chips we're going to get into the future? Well, it's meant they will be able to put more transistor per unit of area, the wafer. So more transistor for AI is great, right? Because this is more computing power or more memory. And the second advantage is that this also reduce the energy consumption. So INA will feed Moore's law, which require more transistor density and less energy consumption. So this is, in general, the value of little shrinks for many, many years, and INA contribute to that again. And when does it become a high volume product for ASML? Is that a 2026 story? Or beyond? What is the, what is the bit, roadmap? It's, it's a bit beyond. So 20, 25, 26 are the, the, the years used for uh, R&D. So this is a time where customers are going to validate the performance of the tool, validate the value of the tool for their process. So they, 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 they try to check that basically, you know, they see improvement on their wafer, that they get more transistor, that they get more yield, etc., etc. And uh, the manufacturing itself, we look at 2027, 2028.